All right, listen, um, I'm going to get right into this. Um, you know, as transparent as I can be, you know, sometimes in life, well, we all have voids, right? I know at different times in our lives, at different periods in our lives, um, different seasons in our lives, we have different voids in our lives. And I think a mistake that we all make, a mistake that I made in my past is that we allow our voids to be in the driver's seat of our life, right? We allow our voids to be the leader in our life. We allow our voids to control our lives, right? Because let's be real, like voids are very hard to deal with, right? And as a human, the first thing we want to do is fill those voids because we don't want to feel loneliness. We don't want to feel like, uh, like we're not significant. You know, we don't want to feel, you know, like we have, you know, we have these financial burdens in our life. And so our whole mindset is to fill those voids. And the mistake that we make is that we try to fill those voids very quickly, right? So we put ourselves in situations that aren't good for our lives. And I want to talk about this real quick while it's in my heart. Now, when it comes to relationships and friendships, you know, a lot of times we have voids of loneliness. We have seasons of loneliness. You know, we want to be in a relationship uh, because, you know, we can't deal with the pain of our past relationship. You know, we want to get around different friends and things like that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we all have had those feelings at some point in our life. But the problem is, is that we... We accept anything because we're looking to fill those voids so much. We accept anything, right? We accept anything that appears good. So we fall in love with the presentation, right? And I want to tell you right now, just because it looks good, seems good, you know, it might even be good. Doesn't mean that it's good for your life. And I want you to understand that. And I get it. I know it's hard. I know it's tough. To be alone, I know it's tough to go through these seasons, but you got to know who you are. You got to know yourself. You got to complete yourself and stop depending on other people to do that for you. You got to love yourself. You got to be happy with yourself because we do that. We chase happiness. We depend on the world to give us happiness. We depend on people to give us happiness. And we're sitting here trying to seek it. And what we end up doing, we settle. We settle for whatever seems good. We settle for the presentation. We settle for people who can secure our insecurities. And that's a mistake. Everybody who secures your insecurity isn't good for you. Because some people like prey on that. Not P-R-A-Y, P-R-E-Y. Some people prey on that. So be careful who you tell your business to. Be careful when you meet somebody telling all your information, all your business, all your insecurities, all your struggles, because some people will use that to gain your trust because they know the first step in controlling your life is to gain your trust. Think about it. Somebody can't hurt you unless they're a part of your life for the most part. And so some people just want to secure your insecurities. You might say, well, this person did that. So what do they do? They do exactly what that person didn't do. You might say, well, this person wasn't loyal. This person didn't call me. You know, this situation happened. They do just the opposite. This is in relationships and friendships and in business. You can apply this to any area of your life. That's why it's important not to rush into anything. That's why it's important to, to give things time because time will reveal true motives. I promise you that. Like someone's true motives will be revealed once they're not getting what they want from your life. See, some people just will present, present what you need so they can take what they want. I'm going to say that again. Some people will present what you need just to take what they want. And so just because somebody is securing your insecurities doesn't make them a good person. Just because somebody is telling you everything that you want to hear doesn't make them a good person. Just because somebody is giving you everything that you want doesn't make them a good person. That's one of the first tricks to somebody using you. Because now in your mind, right, you're like, oh, this person is good. And so moving forward, what do you do? You overlook everything because you remember what they first gave you. They first gave me happiness. They first gave me significance. They first made me feel good about myself. They first gave me an opportunity. 
And so you hold that person there for so long and you overlook everything that's showing you that this person isn't right. And a lot of times, right, when we're in financial situations, right, we have these financial burdens in our life, these financial voids in our life. And we go and we take any opportunity that presents money, any opportunity that may seem good. And if you know, like I know, all money ain't good money. All money ain't good money. And you overlook certain things because you want to fill that void. I, I'm going to just be honest with you. Like, I'd rather struggle. I'd rather struggle to take something that I know is not right for my life. I'd rather be lonely for the rest of my life than put myself in a situation that I know I'm settling in. Stop allowing your voids to force you to settle. It's time for you to work on you. It's time for you to understand you. Like, if you can't be happy alone, then I promise you, you don't need to be in a relationship. And some people might not agree with me with that, but I believe a relationship, a powerful relationship, is when two people come complete. You don't complete each other. You add to each other's completeness. That's a powerful relationship. Because if you're always depending on that person to complete you, what happens when that person leaves you? Then you incomplete again. Then you don't know what to do. Now you're worse off than you were before you even met that person. Because you're hurt again. And now you're looking for somebody else to, guess what, secure your insecurities. You're looking for somebody else to fill that void. Oh, that opportunity looks good, so I'm going to take that opportunity. Oh, that person looks good, that person talks good, that person seems good, oh, that must be a good person. Now, I'm not saying this is true for everybody because there's a lot of good people who present great things that are great people. But you have to use discernment with your life. Don't allow the void of not feeling significant. Not having attention to make you disrespect yourself on social media. Right? You feel that void. You do anything for likes, anything for followers, anything for attention. Because a like makes you feel good. Somebody following you makes you feel like you're somebody. You're somebody before, before social. You're somebody when God created you. Period. And you got to understand that with your life. You have to understand that. Don't allow the voids in your life to lead your life. Allow God to fill those voids. Work on yourself. Right? And it takes time. Healing doesn't happen overnight. It happens over time. Healing is a lifelong process. And I want you to understand that, like, don't be so quick to give your trust away. Don't be so quick to give your trust away. Or should I say this? Don't be so quick to allow people to enter your life. Right? Treat your life like you treat your house. You wouldn't let nobody just walk into your house, right? That came to your door just because they talk good, just because they look good. You ain't gonna just let them walk in your house. Well, at least I know I ain't. Right? Don't just give somebody access to your life. Protect your life. Make people earn a place in your life. And there's nothing wrong with that. People can call you stuck up. People can call you whatever they want to call you. But you need to take care of your life. Because it's your life. It's nobody else's. This doesn't mean that you have to be stuck up. It doesn't mean that you have to be distant from people. I'm not that. But I refuse to allow the presentation when somebody presents me for me to define that person by that presentation. Because the presentation isn't always what's real. Some people don't have a great presentation, but they're great people. Some people have great presentations, but they're terrible people. It will do terrible things. Some people just want your trust because like I said before, they know once they can get your trust, they can control your life. What's the easiest way to get your trust? Do the things that you want. Secure your insecurity. Say the things that you want to hear. Give the opportunity that, that you're seeking, that you want. Don't fall for that. I did that so many times in my life. When I was lost, when I was empty, when I just wanted to make a change with my life, I took some opportunities that, that seemed good, but they weren't good for my life. And when I look back at it, the re only reason I took those opportunities is because I wanted to fill a void. That's it. That's it. So I just want to come on here today just to inspire you real quick. Like I said, if everything doesn't apply to you, cool. Take what you need, leave what you don't. But I'm just giving some suggestions here because I'm tired of people 
putting themselves in situations, putting themselves in positions to be hurt, positions to be used, positions to be taken advantage of. And a lot of times it is led because of the voids in your life. A lot of times we can't handle those voids. So we need whatever we can, whatever we can get our hands on to fill those voids. Whether it's alcohol, whether it's this, whether it's that, whether it's people, whether it's relationship. Like, I just I just want to get this feeling away. And you accept it and guess what? It's good for a little bit. But then once you caught up in it, it's hard to get out of it. Once you caught up in that situation, it's hard to get out of it. Once you take that opportunity and you place yourself in that situation, it's hard to get out of it. You got to learn to say no to the things that are outside of your principles, to the outside of your values. That's why I tell you values are so important. Principles are so important because when you can't see straight because you're allowing your voice to lead your life, you're allowing your emotions to lead your life. That's why it's important. Facts over feelings. I'm going to say that this whole entire year. That's why it's important to have those standards and principles lead your life so you can go back to your principles and say, you know what? This doesn't align. With my principles. This doesn't align with my values. This doesn't align with the facts that I put down. So it's a no. Yep, it seems great, but it's a no. You seem like an awesome person. You do. But for my life, I don't know. It's a no. Allow your principles to lead your life. Allow your values to lead your life. Not your voids. Because if your voids lead your life, I promise you, you're going to live a miserable life. I'm just being as real as I can put it, as real as I can be with you. I'm out here to sugarcoat. I'm out here to make you feel good about, you know, letting your boys lead your life because I care about you and I care about your life. All right? So work on yourself. Feel those voids the right way. Build a closer relationship with God. Change your environment. Get around people that you know or in alignment of where you want to go. All right, like I said, give things time. Don't let nobody just sweet talk you. Don't let nobody just present whatever to you. Because if somebody comes to you, more than likely, not everybody, but more than likely, they want something from you. And I ask people that. Like, what's up? What you need, man? Like, what you want? What's the big picture? I know you just ain't supporting me because you just want to support me. What, what do you really want? All right, how can I really help you? That conversation. But the main thing of today is don't allow somebody to secure your insecurities. Well, I'm not say don't allow anybody to, but be careful when the people in your life or people coming to your life trying to secure your insecurities. Because a lot of people, not everybody, okay? Not everybody, but a lot of people, some people will do that so they can gain your trust. And once they gain your trust, that is the first step to controlling your life. And a lot of you know this. A lot of you can agree with this because a lot of you have lived through this or are living this at this current moment. You're like, how did I get myself here? How did I get myself in this situation? All right? So take care of your foundation. Take care of your foundation. Like I said, in every single video, it all starts with you. Let's get it.